Hello everyone, myself Indra, working as assistant professor in department of nutrition and dietetics. Today we are going to learn about the subject diet counseling. Under this, the topic is about counseling skills, approaches to counseling. <coughs> First one is about psychoanalysis or psychodynamic theory. Psychoanalysis or psychodynamic theory, it is also known as historical perspective. It, it has roots with Sigmund Freud who believed there was unconscious forces that drive behavior. The techniques he developed such as free association, that is free talking to the therapist about whatever comes up without censoring. Dream analysis, examining dreams for important information about the unconscious and transference, uh, re re redirecting feelings about certain people in one's life onto the therapist are still used by psychoanalysis. Psychodynamic theory can be more time intensive in comparison to some short term theories because it involves changing deeply ingrained behaviors and requires significant work on understanding oneself. The second theory is about conjective theory. This counseling theory focuses on how people's thinking can change feelings and behavior. Unlike psychodynamic theory, therapy based on conjective theory is brief in nature and oriented toward problem solving. Conjective therapists focus more on their client's present situation and disordered thinking on their past. Conjective and behavior therapy are often combined as one form of theory practiced by counselor and therapist. <clears throat> the third one is about humanistic approach. It, it is the care most about the present and helping their clients achieving their highest potential. Instead of energy spent on the past or on negative behaviors, humanists believe in the goodness of all people and emphasize a person's self-growth and self-actualization. Holistic or integrative theory. This theory involves integrating various elements of different therapies to the practice. In addition to traditional talk therapy, holistic therapy may include non-traditional therapies such as hypotherapy or guide imaginary the key is to use the technique and psychotherapy tools based suited for a particular client and the problem thank you